Welcome to From Surviving to Thriving. Now today we are going going through a lesson on traps. It is a steamer of a day. It's 95 and humid, but we can do with that. Now, in this installment, we are going to do um, traps and snares. Like I already said, most of them will have to do with um, a a springy sapling. So that's the first component of your snare. And today I only have with me my military survival knife. Usually I'm using my bushcraft knife. Um, but today I'm just going to try out this one. So let's get started. You have to find a thick springy sapling along a game trail. Um, there's a lot of them through here. So we're going to try and find one. She's not a key thing to look for a snap um, um, bushing see how it is snapped right there so that's a sign of animals okay so I've found a sign of a deer therefore it's a game trail there's the one clove part of the hoof and the other part right there and it kind of goes back right here see it Alright, so the first kind of snare we are going to do is going to be a snare that is that you could act for a head snare for, for smaller game or could act for a foot snare for bigger game. And it's going to involve this tree. It's a decently big tree. Um, this is one of the best snares, foot snares for big, big game. So let's get started. Okay, so first you have to strip down the tree. Now, don't try, don't leave any sign that you've been here. Try and tread lightly, and cover all the white, new um, flesh of the tree you have exposed with dirt, so it doesn't look like you have been there. Or else the animals which will try and avoid it. So for the kind of trap that I'm going to build, I need a fork stick, um, a short stick, and a long stick. And my short stick or trigger stick. Okay, so now we sharpen both ends of, of the fork. And we stick that into the ground. So, so now we get our paracord, which I have wrapped around my sheath. Oh, done. And we make it pretty long, about five foot long. And we tie it to our short stick, which I lost. Um, I lost my short stick, so I'm going to use a, another one. Wait a minute, no, here it is. And we tie it to our short stick. Leave a little bit more for the loop, like this. So, tie it to our short, short stick. This. thread this through like this. 
Now we make our loop. And there you go. There is our loop. And then we put and then we tie this end to the tree. So now, usually you would put your bait on your stick first, but I don't have bait. I'm not going, going to use bait because I'm not actually going to set it. But now, to finalize your trap, you put your trigger stick through here. And as you can tell, um, this whole, whole way it works is this thing is pinned right here, and the string is wanting to, wanting to pull up. So your bait stick is tensionized, and that is what is stopping it from flying up. So if this thing pulls out, then um, this thing will unravel and get pulled up. So now we make our loop just with the string. Like this. Make sure you spread your loop um, wide, wide, so it gives you more chance of catching it. And then, basically, the way it works is the animal shows and grabs it, and it flies up. Thanks for watching my next installment of From Surviving to Thriving. Stay tuned.